Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends. Welcome back to the Pisces portal. Pisces, this is going to be a general love reading. I'm going to be getting some messages, um, twin flame messages for you, okay? So this might resonate, it might not. Let's see what messages come through, Pisces. First message is, what will you say or do? If I come back, will you forgive me and love me? Wow. So, Pisces, this person, they're thinking of coming back to you. And they're a little worried about how you might react if you still have feelings for them. Okay? Will you even forgive them? I wish I could be with you, but in our dreams, we can be. So I feel like this person is, you know, I don't want to say a coward, but I feel like they're being a little cowardly, right? Because they're thinking about actually coming back or reaching out to you, but they're also a little content with knowing that the two of you can meet each other, you know, in your dreams, which to me is a bit of a cop out. Um, and it shows, you know, really how, how afraid they are to face you, okay? Okay, let's see. Divine source sends signs, guiding each twin. We both see the signs. So maybe both of you get signs about one another in your dreams, or maybe you get signs in reality, okay? Um, that make you know that you and this person are coming back together sooner than later, okay? And this person is aware that you are their twin. And they might not think of it in the sense of you, you know, using those words, twin flame, but they know that they're in love with you and that they want to reconnect and possibly be with you. Or even be with you again, depending on the situation. Wow. I will see you in our dreams where our love is pure. So again, this person has a lot of dreams about you and I feel like that provides them with comfort. Okay, one, because they get to see you, but two, you know, it takes accountability away from them. Okay, um, I feel like I wanna get one more message. Ah, uh, see? There we go. I fear that I'm not good enough for you, but I'm working on it. So this is what this person is afraid of. They're afraid of coming back um, and not getting your forgiveness. They're afraid to come back because they feel like you might not love them anymore. But the thing um, that really sticks out is that, you know, they're insecure. They feel like they might not be good enough for you, which is why, you know, staying in their head okay, um, makes them feel comfortable because facing you means that they have to not only face what they did or said, okay, um, or maybe didn't do or didn't say that caused the separation, but it means that they have to look at themselves too. They have to look at their own insecurities. So let's see. What else is going on here? 
Okay, let's see what messages we have. Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. So Pisces, this is definitely a, a message for you to continue to love who you are in spite of where you and your twin flame are. But I also feel like this is what they mean when they say they are working on feeling like they are good enough for you, okay? Um, they're trying to see the divinity within themselves. They're trying to love themselves, okay? And feel like they're deserving of you, okay? And other things in their life. And Spirit is also saying, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation, okay? Have faith. You know, and what I'm seeing here, okay, is the woman in this card um, and the girl in this card, you know, they are coming towards one another. So I feel like as your person develops more confidence and as you continue to have faith, it's going to lead the two of you to come back to each other. Wow, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, ooh, Pisces. This connection is worth waiting for. And then it says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, I feel like this is a message for the both of you. You know, as you continue to stand firm and not you know, reach, reach back for your twin, stay where you are, continue to love yourself while they also, okay, work on getting rid of this fear, getting, you know, rid of their insecurities and gaining confidence. It's going to attract the both of you back towards one another, okay? And it doesn't mean that you always have to be perfect. It doesn't mean that you you know, even after the two of you get back together, that both of you won't have an insecurity of some sort, okay? It just means that this is what's necessary at this time, okay? So honoring and respecting yourself is, you know, gonna <clears throat> attract this person, <clears throat> excuse me, to you even more, okay? So... I think that's very powerful, you know, um, powerful messages to come through about self-esteem and self-image and loving yourself, okay, during this journey. So let's see. Thank you. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. So I think this person is realizing how open they can be with you. Okay. And um, it also means that they will be open with you. Okay. When the timing is right. trying to get one of them to fall out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Okay, so everything is okay, Pisces. Even though you might not be where you want to be with your twin at this time, spirit is still in control. Okay, spirit is still guiding you and keeping you safe and keeping your twin safe as well. And look on the bottom of the deck, it says trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Okay, I'm just going to take this one out. Yeah, it's safe for you to trust and have faith, Pisces. It doesn't mean that you can't 
be happy in the meantime, uh, live your life in the meantime. It just means that, you know, you know that spirit is taking care of things and you can tend to and enjoy other things in your life, other people in your life. Okay. Whatever that means for you. Um, I'll take these. regret yeah regret in reverse so yeah your your twin is um really trying to like they said work through their fears okay they've been in a dark place and they're trying to come back out into the light because they want to commit to you they really want to be with you pisces But they know they have to take care of this inner stuff um, before they can come back to you leaving. It's like, even though the two of you are apart or at a distance, you know, they really want to get themselves together because they don't want you to like leave their life for good. And I think the thing that makes them feel like you haven't left for good yet is because they can still feel you and because they still see you in their dreams okay um but they do regret not committing to you sooner and that you know the two of you are in separation at this time they do regret that yeah but they want to take action okay they want to take action they want to prove to you that they love you by committing to you because they don't want you to leave again. <laughs> complicated. You know, things have been complicated. They've been challenging. Okay. But they're going to make it right. Movement. Yeah. They're going to make it right. So they're, they're serious about making up for the past. Yeah, forgiveness in reverse. And, you know, the first card was about forgiveness. Whether you will forgive them, whether you still love them, okay? So I really, I feel like they're longing for, really for your approval, okay? They want to move things toward forgiveness and reconciliation and the two of you coming back together. Destiny in divine time, Pisces. This is the second card to come up about divine timing when it comes to this connection. Okay, divine timing is at work in your love life. Right over regret. Let's see what this is. Twin flames. You know what? Reading adjourned, okay? Seriously. <laughs> This is your twin flame, Pisces. I mean, this has been a twin flame reading, but you know, in case you were really wondering, okay? So, in defined time, you and your twin flame are going to come back together. Let's see. Yeah, and this came out right over regrets too. Triggers. Emotional baggage is running the show. Retrain the internal so the external can change. Okay? Your person says, I'm working on it. Okay? They're working on trying to really get their mind right. Okay? Trying to feel confident. Trying to feel good enough. Not just for you, but like, I, I feel like this person is really insecure about a lot of things, Pisces. And 
they just they want to be on a different wavelength when it comes to the two of you coming back together okay actually let me mm, let me get something from this no i'll get it from this deck okay let's see here spirit what messages um what advice or guidance do you have for Pisces in the meaning in between time? Wake up call, okay? Maybe, you know, for some of you, this reading has been a wake up call for you, okay? Um, maybe you realize that this person that you have in mind with this reading truly is your twin flame. Okay. I also feel like too, you know, your person is having a wake up call. And it says, wow, build on solid ground and address your addictions. Okay. So, you know, I, I feel like these messages are for the both of you, but if you both are twins, I guess you would you know, maybe benefit from the same message, messages, okay? Um, maybe there are some things that you need to address, Pisces, before you and this person can build on solid ground, okay? But I feel like both of you are working on things, but ultimately, this is your twin flame. You can have faith and trust in this situation and trust in the divine timing of everything, so Pisces, this has been your reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.